Hi, I'm Rajiv and I'm going to take you through a short video on editing an image with Snapseed. Snapseed is a free image editor from Google and it's available on both the iPhone as well as all Android devices. So I'm going to click the Snapseed icon here and you can see all my wonderful apps on the screen. So I have to click with my finger and the moment you see this plus sign or the open on top you choose your image. So here I am and let me use this one. So the first thing that you see at the bottom left hand corner of this image is the word raw. Now there are two kinds of film formats or there are two kinds of photograph formats which typically we we shoot in. The first is the JPEG in which the camera or the telephone processes the image and the second is what's called the raw format in which nothing is processed but the image or the file retains all the data. The raw files are always much bigger than the JPEG files because in the JPEG files you you or the camera or the phone will edit the image, discard all unwanted information and spit out the final photograph. So the JPEG is often called a lossy format so because you lose data. That's just the way it is. There are several formats in, in uh, raw files, but phones normally use a DNG, which is a digital negative. It's a proprietary file format from Adobe and it works across all devices. Now, the first thing I will do is I'll click this little WB at the bottom. And you can see I can choose various white balances. So if I click AW, which is auto, it makes a slight change. I can make it sunny, but that's a bit strange. Cloudy makes it a bit warm. Or I can use the picker to choose an area which is reasonably white. So here I go. And that looks awful. So I'm going to undo that. And I will undo again. Well, let it go. Okay, so now that I've done this basic edit, or the first edit, I will choose amongst the various presets, amongst the various presets which are at the bottom. See so a portrait, smooth, pop, accentuate. And you go along to some of the black and white ones. So I will simply choose smooth for this one. And it gives me a fairly decent image, which I can use if I want to. But maybe I will edit it further. So I click the tick. And now I go to the tools. As soon as you open, click the tools, you see all the options available to you going up and going down. I can go back to the raw, again click, look at the, expo at the exposure. Do I want to make it, do I want to darken it? Maybe yes. I'm going to increase the highlights. The shadows are dark enough anyway. I will increase the contrast slightly, make it a little bit I will increase the clarity which makes I'll, which means I'll make it a bit punchier. The saturation is fine and the temperature now nah, made it a bit warm. Um, the tint is okay but I can change the tint depending on what I want to achieve. So here we have it. I've got this image and I'm going to tune it again. changing the ambience I'm going to make it a little bit brighter now here I have it again I've clicked it and um, you can use various options if you want curves which you see here is a fantastic tool for improving the contrast or increasing or reducing the contrast 
the bottom left hand corner represents the shadows or the dark areas and the top right hand corner of the line represents the bright areas and in the middle you have what's called the the midtones you will see this little graphical reputation um, this graphical illustration at the bottom and this shows you how much of the image has bright and how much of the image has dark so if I now move this up I'm reducing the dark a little bit but creating a bit of a matte look and I can simply I've moved it a little bit there and you can see I've overall made a slightly matty and a slightly brighter image now I can lower this part or increase this part if I lower it I have darkened the midtones I'm happy with that because this is just an illustration and now I will look at the perspective so I'm using the free because I want to straighten this lamppost if I can there you have it as you can see I've straightened the lamppost I want to straighten the building so again the perspective again I chose choose free and if you look at this image it is now an image with a straight vertical lamppost and straight vertical buildings again I will go in and you can choose various looks that you want all of these here the HDR scape the glamour grow the glamour glow the vintage the grainy film everything these are all presets let me look at the black and white uh, I will look at something which is bright now I'm going to go to the vintage where has the vintage disappeared there you are and there you have an image which now looks slightly old do I want to give it a frame I can if I want to I prefer to give it a frame like this a black frame all around now if I also want I can add in some text into the image I don't want to do that but much of my why, why, why not I can change the color of the text Hi right, there you have it I will tools text Supermart Supermart one and that is let me shift it around. Can I, yes I can. I can move it even up. So I click the tick once again. Again I go back to the tool because I actually knocked off the frame and you can see it's chosen the last frame and if I want I can now add a small vignette and here we have it the image is done and now if I want I can save it share it to social media by clicking the share button or do anything I want so I will create a copy of the image and we are done so thank you very much